Hi, I'm Singa, an artist teacher working at a secondary school in the UK. Based on my experience, I made Young Artist Art and Education Project No Frame. One way to support Young Artist Projects is through researching relevant artist works and techniques to help devise a personal, tailored workshop. Sometimes both young artist and I bring elements and ideas together and to discuss options. But this is not a case of I did it because my teacher wanted it this way. Oh, that sounds like hell to me. <laughs> I cannot finish that sentence. But there is no mandatory in the process. I can add options as a collaborator, but it is the young artist who selects and takes things on board to develop their projects based on their personal artistic interest. Um, naturally, this process also helps me to push, to expand my own artistic practice as an artist teacher. The example that I want to share today is pressed printing, pressed plant printing workshop. There's so many P's in here. And you'll see how young artist Rosie and I use the same technique in our own ways. So I came across this smashing images and the photographer froze the flowers using liquid nitrogen and then he smashed it against the hard surface and he recorded the event using high-speed camera the mosaic-like work that is from shattered pieces plants looks so intriguing. Considering secondary school environment with budgetary issues and more importantly health and safety reason I knew that it is going to be difficult to use this chemical. So we experimented with different tools like different kinds of hammers and a sharp corner of a bug like but the best result was a um, printing press machine. Uh, it is a very naughty thing to do uh, because it's a, such a delicate machine, I could damage it. So if you want to give it a go, then please adjust the pressure spindle so prevent damaging this machine. <laughs> the risk was definitely worth it. Uh, because the evenly pressured, milled and squeezed and squashed and crushed plant came out of the machine with dramatic texture, deformed shapes and uneven color and s texture surface was uneven. Some area was more translucent than other and we were fascinated by that. We we're so excited. And it worked better when the plants or flowers are cut like a thinly, then the outcome is more promising. But the quality and the result is very uh, difficult to predict what exactly we, we will have. And that is fun part. Obviously, Rose used this technique to build layers for her work. And it seems like she never stopped since then she continuously developing a ways of manipulating plants and to come up with some innovative artwork from her experiments, which is truly interesting to look at. In 2019, collaborating with a musician for his new album launch concert, I had an opportunity to create an installation work in a church doing concert, musical concert uh, at night time in a church was a very hip thing to do. So I was very excited about that. When I first visited the church, I could see this long history building has been kept beautifully. Old stone floor, high ceilings and window, stained window glasses was beautiful. Uh, my personal works are mostly paintings. Uh, but I found it difficult to imagine hanging my work in that church. So I had to come up with different ideas. Uh, what I chose was projecting work onto the wall. 
this actually turned out to be a great choice <laughs> um, considering the dimension of the venue and the occasion and the time that I, had to, that I had to do it because it was evening event because the projection work needs um, unlit areas and with the projectors I could actually adjust the size of the image to fit to the huge walls so that was a great idea but one problem I never done this before <laughs> So I was completely out of my comfort zone and I was so nervous. But to be honest, the excitement side was bigger. And even a week of given time didn't help me to calm down, but I knew that I'll do it. Like many exciting works, there's always like nervousness um, that brings more kind of thrilling effect somehow. I don't know. <laughs> so I went to the market and bought a bunch of lilies and I pressed them. Then I started taking photographs after work. Flowers generally represent life, transitory youth and vitality. When the flower is broken, its delicate, fragile aspect stands out more and is emotionally provoking. I also invited some of my year 12 students' work to display along with the work. They had just finished the paper sculpture workshop. There is a common ground to accompany them together. Structurally, they both taken apart from the whole and reshaped with the similar intention to express the physical and mental status of human. The young artist who made this sculpture wanted to show the true state of a human being who is emotionally and mentally struggling, in his words, messed up. Book cover, the hard surface, is made to look like a person presenting him or herself in a socially acceptable way, hiding what is really going on inside. Behind this, the sculpture exposes explosively his or her vulnerable, anxious, broken, confused nature with spiked out paper strips that has been shredded and cut into pieces, cascading a trail like a shadow behind a firm surface. When a young artist wants to express this hardship of emotional struggle, it makes me think a lot. Also, to listen with more empathy, because we have all been there, or perhaps are still experiencing it. However, wise people's teaching about the difficult times, when it is being looked at with eye of light, like the broken flower was photographed on a light box, we might find that it illuminates a unique beauty from the destruction. When we believe and aware of the beauty of it, it might give us hope and reason to keep walking through. We'll be able to see the connection between different events in life. Well, although sometimes it does feel like eternal, situations and labels come and go. There was joy in the place, soulful musicians' voice, people who are enjoying themselves and artworks, all together celebrating the evening.